Not gonna lie, y'all, this shit hurts. It hurts bad. It hurts so bad. I can't breathe. I'm depressed. I don't wish this on nobody. I'm just coming back on y'all and vlogging so y'all can know my update. But <clears throat> y'all, I literally just woke up when I first went on here and I said something to y'all earlier that was like at six in the morning it is now eight o'clock at night I slept all day and this is what I'm talking about this disease has you sleeping all day to the point where you don't eat you don't drink it's miserable y'all it's miserable it hurts so bad as far as when you cough. You feel the pain in your chest. You feel the pain in your chest. When you go like this. <sighs> that's the part that hurts to breathe. <coughs> when you try to gasp for air. <coughs> so I've been taking Tylenol antibiotics. Um, the extra strength Tylenol. Um, they gave me codeine, and I don't like taking that codeine because I already sleep a lot, and taking that codeine just makes it worse. It just makes it worse, and it makes you delirious. It makes you feel like you're dead to the world, like the day is just gone by, just going by. Today is day 14 that I've been sick, and my husband is now... <coughs> experiencing symptoms he don't have like symptoms like me though he don't have shortness of breath or anything but he just real fatigued like all he can do is sleep nothing else and it's driving him crazy too uh, y'all this is this is hard and if y'all thinking this virus is a joke and it's fake it's not it's not fake it is really freaking hard. This is the worst sickness I've ever felt. And it's the scariest because they don't have a cure. That's what's scary. <coughs> <coughs> so when you get sick, they're only... <coughs> <coughs> they're only prescribing you... <coughs> with medication that can help the symptoms. <coughs> <coughs> Not medication that can get rid of it. So this is real serious, y'all. Don't think it's a game. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a game. <coughs> I didn't take it serious. I didn't wear my mask. So today is Sunday, July the 5th. And it's crazy because yesterday I felt like I was getting better and I do feel like I'm getting better but I had an episode I think I took my medication wrong and it caused me to have diarrhea and vomiting and it hurt so bad gagging and everything and It's crazy because the thoughts that come around in your head when you're going through this, you almost feel like you don't want to live. Like, that's how I felt for a second. Like, I just don't want to go through this pain anymore and I don't want to live. And then I just thought about all the people that have died from this and just how to stay humble and be thankful that I'm still alive. But it's so painful, y'all. And all I thought about was my family and my son and my husband and friends and everybody that's been supportive and been here for me to try to get through this. But I don't ever want to go through this again, y'all. It's so depressing. 
<clears throat> I just want to see my son. He's been with my mother-in-law, and I'm so thankful for her for keeping him. But I miss him so much. I haven't seen him in two, almost three weeks. It's so hard. Hey, y'all. I'm coming back on here. It's day um, 20. And I actually started feeling better, like, around day... 16 and I'm just so thankful that I made it through this and you can actually hear me talking better I went to get my nails done. I still been wearing my mask But I just feel so much better. I can breathe When I do that, I, I get a full deep breath now and I just want to thank God and give all my praises to him because I could have died at 30, and I want to see my son grow up. I want to grow old with my husband. I just got married last year, and I'm just thankful that I made it through this and all the people that supported me, my family, my friends. keep You know, they called me almost every day, checking on me. My husband was right here with me every single day step of the way he never left my side and I hate the fact that he even caught coronavirus because of me but his immune system was so much better than mine he didn't have any symptoms except for fatigue like that's that's the only thing that happened to him he was just sleepy so I'm gonna tell you guys all of my symptoms and I had fever chills body aches I had diarrhea in the beginning I had shortness of breath, loss of appetite, loss of smell, fatigue very bad. Like, I couldn't even keep my eyes open, y'all. And as y'all can see, the beginning of the video was horrible. And I'm just now starting to feel like myself again. And I'm just thankful. I even picked up a few more pounds because I um started eating a little bit. Because I didn't eat so much the whole time. I was so hungry, but I couldn't eat anything. I gained probably like three pounds, but who cares? I'm going to lose it again. But I'm just thankful I'm here. And to all the people that are curious about the coronavirus, if you think you have it, please go get tested because it's not a game. Please wear your mask because, like I said, I didn't take it serious. Please. You might think that it's a a joke and it's it's not and it affects everybody differently you may be fine and then your friend may be very ill when it comes to this disease so thank y'all for watching please like and subscribe i appreciate everyone checking out my channel bye y'all